All right. Here's my flashback arrestor slash bubbler. Uh, you can see I've got two four-inch <clears throat> bronze tubes, Home Depot, with a coupler in the middle. Um, that was only because that was the only size they had. I've got holes drilled in the lower tube here and here to allow the air from the bubbler to go up the water into the air space here and then it enters the holes as you can see the holes sit towards the top um, I usually keep the water level a little higher but that's how the air path goes and the bronze hole that fills the tube the entire thing is sitting inside the water itself allowing it to wick up into I don't know if you can see inside that tube there's a little bit but you can actually see the moisture inside the tube itself right in that hole. It keeps the, the bronze wool moist for the whole uh, length of the tube which means if I were to have a, uh, a flashback past the torch itself which I haven't had yet but if I did um, the, the moisture on the bronze wool in the high surface area is going to absorb all the heat energy and all of that before it even gets to the bubbler that's the point of a, a flashback arrestor is to, to absorb the heat out of the flame so it can't continue to burn. So it was kind of natural. I mean, every time I fire off my torch, I always get the, the bronze wool inside the torch wet. So I thought about doing this just to keep it wet and I never have to, to drip water on it or flush the system or anything like that. So that handles this end of it. I still moisten the bronze wool inside the torch before I uh, run the torch every time just out of habit mostly I guess but that's it